Well, good afternoon and welcome to the channel. Full disclosure, um, I have been sent a free of charge Wunderlich six litre click bag from Nippy Norman for my K1600. Um, not been paid for it, I'm just very grateful for the bag and said I'd put a video together as I often do um, with the fitting of this to, in this case, my K1600. There are four bags in the range. There's a smaller one than the one I've been sent, a three litre, what they call a media click bag. That one's 109 pounds. Um, I'm recording this in March, 2024. So that's the current price. Obviously it may have changed by the time you come to look. The bag that I have is a six to eight litre bag. Why six to eight litres? Well, six litres is its closed size. And then there is a zip expansion part that allows you to expand the bag slightly. And that takes it out to eight litres, so six to eight litre bag. That one's £135 today. Um, the next larger size is a 13 to 16 litre. You're getting now into the realms of bags that can carry a little more, although you should always be aware of the three kilo weight limit, because all of these are going to be mounted on the petrol filler cap on whatever bike you have. And that one comes in at £199. And then lastly, there's the, 30, uh, the 16 to 19 litre bag, and that one comes in at 219 on top of that, you need to buy the tank ring for your particular bike. Now, Nippy Norman stocks all of those. Uh, the one for my motorcycle is $29.90. The one for the GS1300 is $39.90. So they're all going to be in the realms of £30 to £40 pounds for the tank ring. So you need to add that to the uh, cost of the bag. Now, as I say, I like the day bag size just gives me the opportunity to carry stuff which I'm going to need on my ride without getting off the motorcycle. So uh, passport, credit cards, wallet, small bottle of water, maybe some paracetamol. Um, for me it's GoPro batteries, GoPro, that type of thing. Remembering to stay within the three kilo capacity of the unit. Now it's made by Wunderlich in Germany. Um, Nippy Norman are the sole UK distributors of Wunderlich products so you'll find all of this available on his website currently. But let's take a look first of all at the bag then we'll take a look at the tank ring just quickly and then we'll take it all out and fit it to the K1600. So here's the bag on a very nice flowery tiled table. Um, just looking at it straight away, you've got this strap on the top. That's a Velcro strap which can expand. So I'm guessing you could perhaps put some gloves underneath there when you want to get off the motorcycle and carry the bag. The bag does have a handle here um, to, to carry the bag with. This is the front of the bag, the part that's nearest, if you like, to the speedometers furthest away from the rider. But I've also seen, I think on Nippy Norman's site, an SP adapter, which goes around a strap like this, which would enable you to perhaps carry your mobile phone off there if you don't have any other kind of um, connection on your motorcycle. All of the zips have these uh, rough tags on them, very heavily uh, very heavy duty, blue with like a textured feel. So they're very, very glove friendly. So you can pull them backwards and forwards with the glove. And if we look here, you'll also see that they, the closure zips cross over. So you could put a small padlock in there uh, for security if you so desired, but um, high quality zips. Um, there is also around this side, the zip for the expansion mechanism. So we can just unzip that like so, all the way around, just one zip. And then that allows us, if we look on this camera, to expand the bag. So closed, open, closed, open. So that's the six to eight litre capacity change. And we'll just zip that up and then we'll continue to go through the features of the bag. I'm gonna open the bag up now. So if I unzip the zips here of the bag, we'll then see that we can open it up. Now in the top here, there is a ventilated, a mesh type of um, uh, zip. And I guess you can put anything in there that might sweat or get hot or warm. You get this bag. I'm not really sure what that's for, but it may well be for you to put all of your gear in inside the bag so you can easily transport it to wherever you're going. What you need to remember with all of these bags is none of them are waterproof. Um, well, certainly I don't know of any that are waterproof and this one is no different. It's very substantially made, but not waterproof. Um, 
water resistant would be about it. But the great thing is the Wunderlich one comes with a dry bag. So this dry bag here, um, it's a good quality dry bag. And not only is it a good quality dry bag, it actually has three poppers on the front and if I can find them, there we go. Three poppers on the rear and those engage in here with the three poppers in the front of the bag and the three poppers in the rear of the bag. So realistically, you are probably best to use this with the dry bag inside the unit at all times because you never know when it's gonna rain and then everything can just pop inside the dry bag like so and then you just roll it up like you would with any other draw any other dry bag join up the two connectors clip them in it's got a bit of wind in it but clip them in and that would then be inside the bag there's a couple of photos here showing the poppers connected so that you can see how they go they're a little fiddly just to get in place now if I zip the bag back up first you will see that on the bottom of the bag we have the connections for the motorcycle. So I want to mount this bag as far back on the tank as I possibly can away from the handlebars because obviously you'll see when we fit it to the bike that we will have to test that the handlebars will still go to their fullest extent. So this being the front of the motorcycle, I'm going to mount the mounting plate and this is the mounting plate here. I just moved the bag aside. This is actually the magic that makes the click bag happen. Um, this one is actually loaded and if I just clip into here, there you go, you can see the mechanism closes. So this is what we're going to have to screw to the bottom of the bag. And what we're going to do, this is the, this is the release mechanism here. Hopefully you can see that in the camera. This is the release mechanism, just here. So we're going to actually fit this. Uh, it does come with this little plate which comes sort of separate in the box. Just, just slot those together like so. It can only go one way to see the holes all the way through. And then we're going to fit that to the frontmost fittings with the actuator facing front, and you'll see why that is at the moment. And we're going to do that with these four 25 Torx 25 fasteners that are supplied with the kit. So that's the four Torx 25 fasteners fitted now to the bottom of the bag. So the mechanism that is going to operate the click lock is now complete. So now we'll show you how we attach the release mechanism. So the bag comes with this strap with a clip on the end and it's actually ready assembled, but actually you've got to detach it. So we're just going to pull that out of the clip and put the clip aside. Now you'll notice that one end of this, and hopefully this will focus on the camera, but one end of this has this uh, doubled over end that's very neatly sewn up, very strong. And that is going to loop over the end of the unlocking and actuator mechanism. And I'll show you a photo of that in close up so that you can see it. So bringing the bag back in, we're going to want this to, to fit down that side. So we get the open end and we thread it through until the loop is stuck underneath the mechanism. Hopefully you can see that. And again, we'll show you a photo of that in place. Now we're going to take the open end of the tape and there's a little entrance here, just out of interest, this entrance I expect would be quite useful too if you wanted to put a charge cable from a phone in the bag or maybe with me, GoPro batteries. And we just push that through and leave it like so. Now we need to go into the bag. So we'll now unzip it again. And here is strap and we're now going to attach the clip 
to the strap. Now this is pretty important, otherwise this, won't, this, this strap won't lock into this clasp. So the first thing we do is we push the strap up the, oops, the back of the clasp and hopefully you can see that that's in the back of the clasp and we basically tighten it pretty much to where we want it because it's going to actually clip in here. So we now push the other end of the cable back through the clasp like so. Again, hopefully you can see that quite clearly, the back end of the, the hasp, the clip. And then if we pull that so that it meets this quite neatly, what you'll actually notice is if I pull this, it just comes undone. So what we now need to do, and pull that back so that it's firm again. There we go, about there. What we now need to do is take this open end and fold it like so. So fold that in half like this and then you'll notice in the clasp, although it's very tough for you to see that, that there is a little entrance hole here and I'm going to push the end of that in it which then allows the cable to pop out of the back of it and I just so hope you can see that with the camera. And then as I pull, it flattens out. And that now has doubled back over. Again, hopefully you can see that. And I can now clip that in and it will not go loose. So if I now close this, my actuating cable, my, my release cable, is now in place and tight. Okay, so if I just move the bag to one side a second, I'll show you the tank ring. Now, this tank ring is specific to the K1600. So if you have a look at it, this is the way up it's going to go on the tank. So this way. And these are the lugs that operate the click bag mechanism. These four screws here are going to clamp down onto the fuel cap or the ring of the fuel cap on the bike um, and then this will slope off back down the tank. Now if we imagine that that is in place then we simply get the bag and we drop it on the locating and that <laughs> dropped in that easily and that quickly so that is now in place and exactly how it will be on the motorcycle. So just to release we now use our blue strap release we pull it to its furthest extent, it locks, and you simply remove the bag. So, on, off. And beautiful thing is it locks so it doesn't spring back into place. So, on, oops, off. So there we are. That's the uh, unboxing of it, the fitting of the plate at the bottom and showing you how the release mechanism works. Let's go out to the bike and fit it on the K1600. Okay, so we're now out with the K1600 and we're going to, first and foremost, we're gonna be using these four screws at the front here. The original BMW ones will be replaced with these same Torx 25, which is good, so Torx 25 to take these out, Torx 25 to put these in. So these will replace those, and we will also drop these little, or these long spaces in underneath the screws and the tank ring when we do it, but you'll see that in a second. Equally, with the K1600, and obviously you need to follow the instructions for your individual tank ring, but we're going to be taking these two back ones out. Now these back ones, do absolutely nothing with the tank ring, but they supply these tiny little washers which we're gonna to need to put underneath the original screws and put the original screws back in. So that's gonna be the first thing we do. So with Torx 25, just remove the back screw, put the washer on like so, and push that in and I suspect this is just to keep the tank ring level. Now these 
should be done up at four newton meters so they don't need much just a just a tweak up and again take this one off put the washer that's supplied with the tank ring underneath so at the moment we've done nothing for the tank ring but we have just raised the head of these up a little and I suspect that'll be so that the tank ring can actually rest on them so we're now going to remove these four at the front which are the ones that actually hold the tank ring I would suggest when you do this you don't mess around with the filler while you're doing it um, let's just take them off carefully remove them set these aside I keep all of this stuff that I take off in plastic bags so that when I come to sell the motorcycle I can easily um, put those back in and then we just drop in the four larger spaces that we're provided into their holes like so so that's the four of those in and then we get the tank ring with the four screws drop those in and what I normally do with these is just tighten them down gently so just pinch tight so I can let go of the ring like so now these front two hold the actual front of the cap on separately so I'm going to tighten those ones up first Don't need over tightening as I say if you've got a torque wrench it would be ideal four newton meters um, so that's the tank ring fitted I do apologize for these watermarks just come back from a service so it's not up to the Hodge cleaning standard but I will get it polished a little later so here's the tank bag and simply we lay it on and it's in place so there it is that's the tank bag fitted um, we should now just make sure that we can turn the handlebars you can see there total clearance between handlebars and bag and then again the other way total clearance here between handlebar and bags so there's going to be no interference with the bag here and then to remove it it's just simply a matter of getting our release strap pulling it and lifting the bag away so just load it again so pull it fully and then just drop it on there it is bag is connected now I have just noticed one further feature which I didn't mention on the desk and that is if you don't like it quite so proud as it is at the moment you can actually compress that down like so so it is quite a bit lower obviously it reduces the room but then you could very simply expand your expansion zip and pop the top up if you wanted so that's probably a little bit it looks a little bit too high to me when it's on there but that looks a lot better to me when it's a little bit more sunk like that on the bike I can clearly see the screen and such like and indeed even in that lower position there is clearance there between the handlebars only just but there is clearance between the handlebars and the bag and the reason I mention that quite heavily is because um, a friend of mine had a large tank bag on his GS and every time he turned the handlebars fully to the uh, to effectively go left while he was maneuvering so left hand down he was hitting the ABS button and wondering why his TFT was always showing the ABS had been disconnected so you just need to be very cautious of that anyway there it is the Wunderlich click bag the six litre version supplied by Nippy Norman in the UK so hope you've enjoyed it if you have give me a thumbs up if you fancy subscribing to the channel feel free press the bell don't post that often but hopefully you've liked this particular video on the fitting of this bag